Welcome back to the Christian's Foundation course, study number 122. We're on the doctrine of baptisms, the working of miracles, one of the power gifts. We're going to Acts chapter 4. We're going to start in verse 13 and work our way down from there. The name of Jesus forbidden. Now, miracles have a way of attracting attention. Okay. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men. You can be uneducated and untrained if you're performing, um, laying on of hand miracles in the name of Jesus. I don't know if some of the other aspects, I think there's many other aspects of ministry where you do need to be educated and trained. And they marveled, and they realized that they had been with Jesus, and seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it, but when they had commanded them to go outside of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For indeed, that a noticeable miracle or notable miracle has been done through them is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot, we just cannot deny it. But so that it spreads no further among the people, let us severely threaten them that from now on, they speak to no man in this name. It's getting heavy, isn't it? So they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Peter and John answered and said to them, Whether it is right in the sight of God to listen to you more than to God, you judge. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Now when they had further threatened them, they let them go finding no way of punishing them because of the people, because it impacted the people in a positive way, and they acknowledged this, since they all glorified God for what he had done. For the man who was over 40 years old, on whom this miracle of healing had been performed. So this guy was over 40 years old and could walk, was made to be able to walk through a power miracle. How, how, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, how wonderful is that? And now if we turn to Acts chapter 8 and verse 4, Christ is preached in Samaria. This is a massive piece of scripture relative to miracles. Therefore those who were scattered went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the, what? The miracles that he did. For unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. And there was great joy in that city. <clears throat> the sorcerer's profession of faith. But there was a certain man called Simon, who previously practiced sorcery in the city, and astonished the people of Samaria, claiming that he was someone great, to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of God, and they heeded him because he had astonished them with the sorceries for a long time. But when they believed Philip, as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you cannot separate the message of the kingdom of God from the name of the Lord Jesus or person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Both men and women were baptized. Then Simon himself also believed. Simon abandoned his sorcery and also believed, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip, and was amazed seeing the miracles and the signs which were done. So here even Simon abandoned his sorcery to continue with Philip in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to contribute in, learn about, and watch the miracles and signs that were being done. And then if we turn to Acts chapter 15, the Jerusalem Council, after the during the meeting of the council, towards the end of it, um, Peter says, But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ we shall be saved in the same manner as they. Verse 12. Then all the multitude kept silent and listened to Barnabas and Paul, declaring how many miracles and wonders God had worked through them among the Gentiles. And after they had come, become silent, James answered, saying, So on and so forth. So, Barnabas and Saul declared how many miracles and wonders God had worked through them among the Gentiles. So miracles and wonders can be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, through the laying out of hands, um, or whatever similar um, way you want to do it, 
but they are real today as much as they were then. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next lesson of the Christian Foundation course. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.